Hi Pisces and welcome to your love scope for May at 2020. Let's get right into your reading. I am going to try to pull multiple messages in this reading, but man, the love uh, readings for May have been so specific. So Pisces, let's see what is coming out for you. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Wow, Pisces, that is beautiful. Next out would actually be a true love. Okay, so I feel two things with this, Pisces. Some of you have met this person. Um, in the recent past, you've met somebody in the past and um, things are just moving along. Oh my gosh, this is, is, this is beautiful. This is your soulmate. You can trust this relationship, this connection, okay? Those of you who have recently met somebody and you guys just have this really great chemistry and you feel them and you're like, is this... You know, is the other shoe going to drop? Are they feeling me? They are, okay? They absolutely are. Now, um, for others of you, you know, there could have been a relationship in the past, you know, where you kind of got left high and dry, Pisces. And um, it, it should have progressed. Certain things should have happened. And they just didn't. And now you are in a place of um, distrust or maybe you're a little bit jaded about love but there is this beautiful soulmate coming into your reality, Pisces. You already know this person and you're being realigned to them or this is a new romance coming in for you and this is a very safe, stable, strong, secure relationship, okay? And um, I just see unfulfilled love and that makes you a little jaded for what's happening, what's coming in. And then again, other Pisces out there, you recently met somebody in the past and uh, you guys are just really progressing forward and there's a lot of um, uncertainty. I feel in you like, are, are they really in it? Are they feeling me as much? Yes, Pisces, they are. This is a soulmate. This is a very beautiful love and connection coming through. So let's pull some more cards. Sacrifice and ego consciousness. Yeah. Um, whether you've recent you recently connected with somebody new, um, or this is a new romance coming in to the present in the month of May, or you're being realigned to somebody, Pisces, I do see that you are a bit jaded. Um, you maybe tell yourself, I want love, I want a relationship, I want to be with somebody, but something hurt you so badly in the past. You are very hesitant. You are very unsure if you can trust, if you want to open your heart up, okay? So this message really is um, for Pisces who have just recently met somebody like maybe up to three months back or Pisces who... There's this new love coming in May or a realignment in May. It's happening in May, okay? And um, you're very weary um, regardless of where you fall in those scenarios because you have been burned in the past and uh, you're just, oh, you're not trusting it. Let's pull a couple more cards. All right. So we have sacred moments and true forgiveness. Um, just depending on how you resonate with this reading, this sacred moments is what you're creating with this person that you've just recently met or is coming into your life in the month of May. Um, and it's special. It's, you know, heart, soul, mind, body. It's all of the above. And this forgiveness is you've got to forgive what's happened to you in the past to allow yourself to fully emerge into this relationship and trust it. And you can, Pisces, you can. And for others of you, 
this may be um, a realignment of a past energy coming into your present and we'll pull some more cards um, to dig deeper about that and if that's the case it's like um, they say Pisces you're unforgettable what you shared in the past and there's this element of need of forgiveness um, within you towards this person all right so let's pull some more cards Spirit, divine intervention, spiritual evaluation. What did not work in the past, it was not meant to be, Pisces. And anything that returns to you now, you know, you guys are in a different place vibrationally and emotionally. Um, so anything that didn't work in the past, it was not meant to be for you. And again, I do feel very too, like two strong scenarios where some Pisces have recently met somebody spirit brought that person into your life okay or in the month of may there's this new love coming in or this realignment of an old love look at that twist of fate a big change blessing in disguise a wake up call and the nine of thoughts anxiety fear haunted mind so this would be the tower the nine of swords so you got judgment the tower the nine of swords uh, if this were a standard tarot deck and what that tells me Pisces what didn't work in the past it wasn't meant to be even if spirit realigned you with somebody in the present you've got to understand the versions you were in the past were not compatible um, those of you where you've recently met somebody or there's this new love coming in in the month of may it's quite unexpected um, it's very surprising and shocking to you it might be a little bit overwhelming and overstimulating again because of what you've been through and here you are afraid that it's not real that you can't trust that the other shoe is going to drop but that is not the case all right um, seven of thoughts gaslighting ghosting ulterior motives all right pisces um some of you who are being realigned to somebody it didn't it didn't uh, end so well it could be where somebody just abruptly stopped talking to you like the relationship couldn't even really get started you know um there was chemistry you know communication maybe you went out with each other you were talking to each other but it just it didn't go anywhere okay um and that's why there may be a need of forgiveness and then for others of you yeah the way certain things happened in your past and romance has left you just raw like i don't want to go through this again like almost i would rather be alone than to ever be hurt like that again Six of Roses, giving, receiving, sharing. You are very shocked at how attentive this person is, how much they care for you, Pisces, um, how much they're interested in your well-being, especially if this is somebody spirits realigning you to. It shocks you how much they've changed. Nice. We've got the light. Awaken soul contracts and experiences. That's what this relationship is meant to be about Pisces. So we've got a potential Taurus right there coming through. Um, but anything that didn't work out in the past, it wasn't meant to be. And what spirit, the romance that spirit is bringing into your life in May or has re just recently brought into your life, Pisces, this is true love. This is a contract of higher experiences at the soul. It's not karmic. It's not shadow energies that you are dealing with. This is truly a connection that you can trust. So let's pull some more cards. And it just shocks you, Pisces, um, the, just how much this person adores you. And um, if this is somebody you've known before, they are truly a changed individual. So life lessons, um, discipline, growth, maturing, you both have, um, well, you both are very grown and wise and mature emotionally in this connection. 
messenger of emotions messages from the heart there you go Pisces if this is a realignment and this person kind of just walked away or burned you in the past they're definitely going to be the one to reach out um, spirit will bring them back into your life and you know they will apologize they will give you an explanation they will take accountability for their actions for their behavior okay and um, if this is a brand new person you are the way that um, they care for you and their sensitivity and just um, how you feel in their presence really helps you forgive the heavy past you've had in relationships growth patience waiting this has been a long time coming for some of you Competition, jealousy, old flames. So this speaks a couple things to me. Uh, first of all, you some of you are definitely going to be realigned with somebody. And I know nobody wants to hear about exes, but this ex is a changed person. I promise you that. Um, and when this love is in full bloom, Pisces, you are going to have a lot of exes that are jealous to see you this happy and like, damn, maybe I missed out on Pisces. Maybe Pisces is the one that got away. Yep, Pisces is the one that got away. You're going to have some uh, sad exes hanging around once this love goes full bloom. Okay, and uh, those of you where this is like a, a re realignment with somebody, they have totally changed. This is the confirmation of that. And, you know, they see you for your worth and your value. There's nobody else like you, Pisces new love energies and some of you this is a brand new person you've just recently met or they're coming into your reality in the month of may and it's the same your exes are going to be jelly and now we have the spirit guide this is the overseer so pisces um this relationship Hmm. Next out would be, look at this, longing nostalgia return. So yeah, I do feel half and half on this. Some of you, um, half of you, this is a new person, and the other half of you, this is absolutely a realignment with somebody that you have been with before. And there is a spirit guide that is going to ensure you come together, come into union with this person, whether it's a new meeting or it's a realignment of somebody that you have, um, you know, dated before. Either way, the spirit guide is going to make sure it happens. And I do, I seriously feel split 50-50. Some of you brand new, some of you realignment. Um, and if you, and again, you could have just met this person prior to the month of May. This relationship is really going to grow and take off. You can trust it, Pisces. Um, and if this is a realignment, this person has had a lot of time to think about um, themselves, their relationship with you, their relationship with other people, and they've come to a conclusion in a very big way, and who you are and what you offer is unmatched, and um, they had a lot to go through. They had to taste some lemons in order to realize how sweet and precious you were. Okay, so Pisces, major uh, realization taking place in the person for those of you that are realigned to somebody it's legit like they've woken up they see you for your worth your value what you really mean to them um, and just everything and this is you know a general reading so it could be interchangeable so this could go the other way Pisces you could be the one having this profound awakening and realizing that there's somebody you need to get back to Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectation. Yeah, some of you really doubtful that this person could have truly changed. Um, and also, those of you that are meeting somebody brand new, they may be very, very different than anything you have ever dated previously, Pisces. So let's just pull a few more cards. Finance and careers. Some of you could have worked with this person or you may work with this person. Give this relationship a chance. Man, you are very fearful, Pisces, and let your friends help. Okay, some of you meeting this person um, through work, career. Others of you, this could be, um, you know, like through a mutual friend or 
uh, your mutual friends realign you back together but this sitting here with um, give your relationship a chance work on your partnership if this is a realignment you've just you've got to take a risk Pisces and jump in they're real I see it uh, reiterated throughout this entire reading and you just being very very afraid of getting hurt and getting burned again okay and those of you who have already met this person they're very different from you and again you might be a little bitter from what's happened before but really open your heart and give this relationship a chance it is safe for you to love this is a beautiful um, journey and connection going on here Pisces um, whether it's a brand new love or a realignment it's meant to be and it's mature it's grown it's of the light Okay, so those are your messages, Pisces. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.